Now, I'm told, and I say this in all innocence, you can tell me I'm wrong if mm. I am, but I'm told that your reputation is, at present, that you're a little bit on the aloof side, perhaps, with mm. other players, and that on the whole, uh, managements and, and officials in the game regard you as a bit argumentative and a bit difficult. Would you say that's fair or not? I should hope that certain managers and, and uh, principals in the game would think I'm argumentative and a bit difficult. Because I do believe in authority, but it's got to be good authority as far as I'm concerned. I see no other reason for authority unless it's good. And when I think things are wrong, I say so, and I don't stand for it easily. And there's an awful lot wrong, in my opinion, in soccer. And I would want to feel that some of those people thought I was difficult. Well, we'll go on to that in a moment. Now, about your fellow players, do, do you have the feeling that you're, on the whole, well-liked? I'm not saying, do you think you're a hero? I don't know whether they like me or not. I feel that, that my players respect me. I certainly respect them. As regards, uh, I don't know who told you that I was aloof. I'm not aloof from my players. They kick me up in the car park every morning on the fire side just as much as I, I enjoy my conflicts with them. Uh, I don't mix an awful lot with them socially, but then some of the, the others don't as well. I think that these are criticisms that you, which are levelled at you in certain positions. Do you, well, let, let's put it a bit more specifically. Do you ever, for instance, find them impatient of what, again, I'm told is your uh, rather noticeably theoretical view of the game. I mean, you think a great oh, deal I'm about sure the some of them th that. think I uh, get impatient. I get impatient with some of them sometimes about other things. But I I've never really had any uh, harsh disagreements with, with any of the players I've ever been with, really. Do you find, on the whole, taking the present Spurs team as being a, a sort of average of mm -hmm. football intelligence, it's probably above average, but still taking them as an example, that you find it easy to communicate to your ten colleagues your own theoretical ideas about the game? About the game, yes. yes, certainly I find it easy. There's an awful uh, impression around that footballers are ignorant. Now, this probably gathers momentum from the fact that they don't talk easily about what they do. But then I'm sure farmers don't talk easily about what they do. The point is they do it, and they've got an instinctive intelligence. And some of them are, are, are a lot cleverer than I am on the field, in certain ways. And uh, I have, hold a lot of respect for them. Well, now, coming back to management and things, as a spectator, I have the impression that a, that a great deal of football management, club and league management, is still pretty unimaginative and crummy. Do you think that it's adequate for the modern game? No, I don't think it's adequate. Mind you, I think this is true of the country as a whole. I think this is true of, of the government, and I think this is true of the church and a lot of other things. Uh, but uh, I think that football, in this sense, has got somewhere to go. We can go international. We can go to Europe. Uh, there's, there's going to be big developments within the game, and I don't think that all the, you know, we cannot all get into it. There's only a certain few can get into it. I think it's a process of evolution. Do you think the right men are becoming managers and indeed becoming directors? I think that there's, there's probably a better young men coming. Uh, you see, I think as the footballer becomes better, as he becomes broader, he in turn makes a better manager. And I think the management of the game now is better than it was before. I don't say it's altogether good enough. But then well, nothing is ever good enough. Would you yourself be ready to move into management when eventually the time comes for you to leave the act? I have game? said uh, casually sometimes that, uh, that I, I wouldn't quite like to go into management now. But as the terms change, I might be drawn into it by the new, and, the new excitements, the new tensions. I might very easily. But uh, I, I would want the terms to change a lot. If you feel as strongly about the game as you do, might you not have the feeling that in order to put into it as much as you've taken out mm -hmm. of it, perhaps you have a duty to try and go on into management? Yes, but I feel that perhaps I could meet that duty in other spheres. I could maybe go into journalism because that's even worse than the management. Um, what about the relations nowadays between the management and the players? Are the players accorded proper respect or not? I think this is developing. I think with the, the rising of the maximum wage, I think with the growth of football internationally, the player is, is finding a new respect and the management are beginning to realise that you can't uh, be a good club without good players, which you could at one time. You could hold your way and treat the players with great disrespect. I think this is changing and I think it's important. You see, the player only lasts for a short time. In other words, he's not important all his life. It's only that small period where he practically is God in the game. Um, do you agree that in spite of these improvements, the image of the British footballer, and indeed of most British clubs, is still on the whole unglamorous, and, and I think if one can use the expression, socially inferior in the community? Oh, yes, I think it's socially inferior in this community. I think we, you know, professional sport has been looked down upon by the British for a long time. It's not the same case in America. I think this will change here, 
as, as you know, our insular attitude to life broadens. Uh, do you think there's anything that can be done inside the game to help it to change? Oh, I think the players can help. I, I don't think they're absolutely guiltless. I think they can, uh, you know, really put more into it. They'll have to put more into it. The new standards will demand more from the player. I think this is a good thing because as well as having slackness up above, we've had a lot of slackness within the game. Players have not always done what they should. Are you conscious of the fact that it's now a sort of fashionable thing for at least some middle-class intellectuals to patronize the London clubs and to follow them and to write about them and to talk about them and so on. Now that seems so far only to be confined to the London clubs and many of them of course to Spurs mm. themselves. Now do you know what has caused this? Is there anything that we can learn from this which could be applied to other clubs in the provinces? Well I think that this again is a process of evolution. I think London the capital city uh, things rather develop there first and then spread in spite of what people in Manchester might say. I feel that this will happen in Manchester, I feel it will happen in Birmingham and all the big cities. Uh, I think this is because of the internationalism coming into the game. Uh, this is true probably of, of Spain, it's probably true of Italy, probably true of other places that you get you know, better people, or people who say they're better, uh, writing about it and talking about it and forming a sort of social Yes, yeah, which would, of course, I mean, let's not worry about the social side of it, except that it would obviously make the game much more prosperous if it could have the additional status. Yes, it, it would make the game. Uh, you see, I feel that any restriction uh, prevents things. And if we have a social restriction, although it doesn't bother us, it prevents a certain development of the game. Right. And if we can get rid of that, then we can develop better. Well, now, you were talking rather critically a moment ago, at least I think you were, about the press. But surely, as far as you're concerned, as far as football is concerned, it's very well reported, isn't it? Yes, it's very... It's, well, it, it gets a lot of coverage and a lot of space. I don't say it's always well reported. Mind you, I think that the, 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 the press have their devils to meet the, the same as everyone else. It's not easy to reduce 90 minutes play to 20 lines on a page. Uh, I, I suppose the people who do report the games have, have terrible issues with their sub-editors and their editors and things like that. But I think there could be an awful improvement in the reporting of the game. I find, you know, at any of the big games that I really want to know about, there's nowhere that I can turn with much confidence and read about it. Uh, what about the emphasis which is placed in the popular newspapers on personal stories? Do you think that's essential? Does that help the game or not? I think that, well, I, I don't know whether they, why they did it in the first place. Perhaps there was some necessity. If they sold papers, it perhaps was uh, essential to them. But I think that this will change because... Uh, I think, as I say, the game is going to become international, European league. And I think the people in, in Moscow won't want to know what Joe Dokes' wife is doing in Manchester. I think the game will, will rise in standards and the reporting will rise. There will be new demands. Now, what about earnings? Uh, because these have changed quite a lot recently. I mean, would you like to tell me, I won't press you if you wouldn't, mm -hmm. but approximately how much do you get from Spurs? Well, now, uh, uh, one of the considerations, of the, I, I don't want to hedge about this, I would say that, that possibly in the year my earnings might be between four and five thousand pounds. This would depend on winning and losing a lot. Yes. See. Is that somewhere near the top wage in the league now? Well, I don't know what other people are getting. There's an awful lot of talk about this. Uh, I'm on the same uh, standing as probably three or four other players at Tottenham. We have a sort of group system where there is a group of players. We don't feel that anyone's bigger than the game or bigger than the team. There are three or four who are important some a little, perhaps a little less important, a little younger, who may grow on importance. Yes, quite. And I think this is a fair system. Well, now, in practice, I'm not asking for the legal minimum, but mm -hmm. in practice, what is the lowest wage that a first division footballer will probably earn at present? I should say probably 30 or 35 pounds. Yes. Week. And will most of those be able to get some sort of perks outside? Not most of them. Uh, very few of them. Uh, you, of course, do a good deal of journalism, you do yes. some advertising, mm -hmm. you may have other interests for all I know. What sort of approximate percentage of your income, would you say, comes from outside the Spurs salary? Well, I'm not so sure of this this year. You see, La this is the first year of, of the new wage system. Uh, last year, the year before, I was earning perhaps two and three times outside the game. So now, with the new earnings, I'd probably be earning maybe... 50%. 50%, yes. So this puts you into, at any rate, the six or 7,000 a year. Class. Well, you know, to do this, I've got to win, you know, the European Cup and the Cup and, sure, and everything sure. else like that. Well, now, what about some of this outside work, journalism? Is your journalism your own? 
Yes. What 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 appears is what you yourself write. Well, uh, uh, you know, unless it's been uh, butchered or improved by some sub editor somewhere. Well, do you do you find that just happens? the same consideration? Yes, I do. I, 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 words have rather a meaning for me, a personal meaning, and I, I I find great conflict in journalism because I find I'm working with people who, according to the demands of their own employment, are working with mechanical words. You know, they've got to find words to fit the type. They've got to shorten the space to fit, and this uh, this is a conflict which I don't enjoy. They have the same disciplines, no doubt, as you have on the football field. No, I, we don't have so much discipline on the football field because the football field is a, is a place of great freedom. Nobody can sub-edit your work out there or change it. Once you're committed to it, you're committed to it.